So as I was driving home from the gym today, I saw this video uh, by a YouTuber named Scooch. It's talking about this new roguelike game that came out called Battle Shapers. And it looked really, really fun. But it got me thinking about the fact that I don't really play new or different games. I actually kind of suck at playing new games. Now what I mean by that is I don't like play poorly. I just don't do it. See, when I get sucked into a game that I really love, say right now, Counter-Strike, it's hard for me to pull away and do something different. I have a really hard time not playing my competitive games that I play over and over again. Um, right now, my biggest ones are Counter-Strike and Team Fight Tactics. Occasionally, I'll dip my foot back into League, but those are, those are dark times. Those are really, really dark times. And like everyone, I go through my Minecraft phase, right? You get a couple months here and there with some friends, and then you back off for like a year, and then Eventually you'll come back around once the new patch comes out. I don't know, I just struggle to play more than one game at a time. I'm really into Counter-Strike specifically right now. Me and my friend uh, Josh, we try to play together as often as we can. Me and my friends will try to uh, group up and play on competitive because Premiere is kind of in a weird place right now. But that's the game I spend the most of my time on. But there's so many cool games that like I really want to play. I have this big drive to want to create video games. I also have a huge drive to play board games. By the way, this topic doesn't really affect board games for me. I love trying new board games, and I have. Literally last night, I played a new board game with some friends. It was really good. I was this one where you like collect dim sum. Um, I think it's, what's it called? I'll put it, I'll put it right here. I just, I don't remember. But as many know, I love doing art. That's what I got my degree in. It was graphic design. I love working on these new art pieces that I can put into a potential game, right? Whether that be a, a digital game or a board game or a card game, I wanna make something so bad. But in that pursuit, I have to know what kind of thing I wanna make, right? I can't just have art assets and then say, be free, you are a game now. No, I need to have a, I, 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 I need to have an idea. I think about a couple instances where new games came out that I really wanted to play that I just didn't. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3, when that game came out, I went to a local uh, video games, etc. call out my Midwestern folk, and, and I found the original Baldur's Gate game. Baldur's Gate, hold on, am I saying this wrong? Baldur. My friend Josh will correct me in the comments. Well, I found the original Baller's Gate. I found it for the original Xbox, which I have sitting right there. Um, I didn't buy it because I knew even then that like I probably wasn't gonna end up playing it, even though it looked sick and it would be really fun to go back and play that. I struggle with playing other games. Uh, another one that's very similar to Stardew Valley. My wife's obsessed with Stardew Valley, so I, I took some inspiration from her and wanted to get something similar, um, but I already knew that Stardew Valley wasn't specifically for me, so I found this game called Moonstone Island. Very, very similar game, just kind of a few different mechanics, and the world is different. Uh, some of the goals are different too. Uh, so I bought Moonstone Island. I played about 10... 11 hours of that. It's a great game, but there's a new AK skin that is freaking gorgeous and I need to, and I gotta, I gotta go get that. I didn't buy it, but like, say I could, at least I'll play the game that has it in it so I could pick it up and some other rich guy bought it and I killed him. My wife and I did a late night gaming night months ago, two, 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 three months ago. I was dead set that I want to get into a game that has a fun story, can be an MMO, and I get to have character design and like something fantasy. Perfect game in my mind, Guild Wars 2. That was a game me and my friends used to be into a bunch when we were in high school, uh, and it's I, still available, they're still updating it. It was really fun. I played this game for four hours that night, and then and the morning after, I didn't even want to touch it. Not because it didn't sound fun. It's just freaking TFT auto chess auto battlers were waiting for me to put little items on them so that they could be really strong guys. Going back to that scooch video I mentioned at the beginning, I really love roguelikes. Enter the Gungeon is a staple. Uh, Risk of Rain 2 is one that's been requested of me to play. Binding of Isaacs. Binding of Isaacs? Didn't know there were two. But I struggle to actually go out of my way to play them. Why? These are games that I want to honestly be making. I don't know. This is just something that I have to work through for myself. I don't know. I guess I just 
want to be able to spend time on the games that I actually want to play, you know? The truth is there's so many new roguelike games out there that I absolutely want to dive into. And there's so many that I want to make. I just don't know when I will. So because of that, I need to challenge myself. If I actually want to play these games, I force myself to do it. Living on Google Calendar, I'll have to kind of just block out time for me to play these games. If I don't put the projects I worked on into perspective at the end of the day or beforehand so I can watch my productivity, I start to lose perspective of what I'm actually accomplishing and in the end get kind of disappointed with myself uh, that I'm not actually working. But I know it's not true. I know that I'm working hard and I know that I can play these games too. And maybe that's something that works for you too. Maybe you need to schedule out some time to play a new game as well. That way you don't get stuck grinding Counter-Strike 2 until you're, well, back down into silver. I hope you have a great day. Uh, I'd love it if you subscribed. Uh, the button down there probably just lit up when I said the word subscribe. Um, reason being is it's a fun little YouTube tool. Uh, if you didn't see it, that means that you're subscribed already, and that's really sweet of you. I can actually kind of put myself to the test in playing new games on Twitch, uh, because, big announcement, I'll be back on Twitch very, very soon. My wife and I are moving, uh, to a place that has stable internet and no water damage in its walls, so that's, that's awesome. It's about time to have a, a home that doesn't have water damage. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Bye.